So hey out there guys, it is Thursday. It's only a Thursday. And uh I'm just getting off of work. But I thought I'd show a little view of my work here, see? Coming over the hill here and I work off to the left there. That little, uh, all those buildings right there, I'm, I'm in one of them. We're doing some remodel work over here. This used to be a uh, military uh, hospital slash resort slash, well now it's a, uh, now it's a prison. I get to uh, spend my eight hours every day locked in the prison. Cal Fire. Better pay attention where I'm going here. Yeah. All right. It's later on in the day. And when I got home today, my tires here yeah so there's my spare tire uh, I got my wheel over there sitting in the garage got to mount that up got to get me a valve stem because I don't have any valve stems laying around so I guess I'll put this off for tomorrow but you know I just got to see how it's gonna fit up um, so got to make some other modifications to this thing because if you look carefully, this is the mount right here, okay? This is what your wheel mounts up to. This is adjustable in and out. This piece here is adjustable up and down, but it actually goes over here. So you got two holes here. I'm only using half the holes. That's because I want to move it over that way. And I was thinking of cutting this piece out. Be nice if I had a torch and a plasma cutter and all that stuff. But I got some limited amount of tools here. So I'm thinking just leave that. And I'll go buy some angle, I'll go buy some steel, and then I just gotta put another piece of steel back here. Move it over a few inches, cause that's about all I can do. I don't wanna block my tail light there and risk getting a citation, right? So, I got the tire just hanging on there with a two by four. Um, I could go up a couple of holes. I may do that. But the higher it goes, the more stress it puts on the bar. You know, because the load goes higher, it's more leverage. Flexing and stuff when you're off-roading, off the steel may fatigue and actually crack around here somewhere. It's just a theory of mine. I've seen it happen before on Jeeps. Um, but yeah, it's going to be something like that. And then uh, I'm trying to squeeze in some jerry cans over on this side. And I think there just might be enough room. As long as I can clear this brake line. I mean this brake light. Sorry, I'm thinking, talking, and uh, working the camera at the same time. So I got, I got ideas. Crazy ideas going through my head here. But... I'd like to get my jerry cans out and, and check the dimensions on them, but they're they're locked up in the house, in the back of the house somewhere, so I don't want to break them out right now. I'm home from work, you know? You can take the work boots off and relax a little bit, but I want to see what this is going to look like. This could actually move over a couple more inches, but that's a whole, it's going to be a whole lot more work. Like I said, if I can get the jerry cans on over here, that'd work out fine. Got to raise, probably have to raise them up above the latch here so I can get under the jerry cans. Hmm. 
yeah so it's gonna look something like that there's another hundred and uh, hundred pounds tire wheel combination 10 ply tires like I said this is what's available and it's 18 inch wheel with this type of tire an all-terrain tire I haven't found anything in a six ply which would be a whole lot lighter and maybe a little bit cheaper but it's what it is 272 for this tire over at performance plus in Long Beach on Cherry Avenue um, and don't forget California sales tax good old California sales tax plus there's a like a dollar 75 tax tire tax and disposal fee so altogether tires three hundred and thirteen dollars outrageous just outrageous I remember when I first got my Bronco the tires were a hundred and BFGs I think I put it no I put a uh, Goodyear MTRs they were like 195 bucks plus tax but tax was not nine and I think nine and three quarter percent like it is now and there was no tire tax on top of that just sales tax and no disposal fees so oh, man if you can buy your stuff outside of California I recommend you do that especially high dollar stuff like this it's a joke it's the biggest scam ever and I don't know why people keep voting the same politicians in office year after year it's just crazy you know guys like me that go to work every day and work 40 hours a week we're just getting taxed to death you got no write-offs or anything we just go to work and pay our bills like a dummy so anyway that's what's going on for uh, Thursday um yeah uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking of getting rid of the Bronco only because I cannot afford to do two trucks at one time it's just it's just not possible unfortunately and I really like getting into this one and I like getting into that one but uh, this one's the daily driver and this one's got to go this one has to be up and running so I'm thinking of just selling the Bronco and buying a little car you know a little commuter car just to get to work and back this way this truck's always ready to go just park it in the back where the Bronco is now and uh, my weekends I'd come home switch cars jump in the, in the Colorado and uh, see you later till Monday right that's the plan anyway so this Saturday I got to take it in and have the wheels aligned oh that's number one thing Saturday morning get that out of the way um, camo camo rhino six six something wants to buy my old bumper hey it's available Invited me to go uh, on a little off-road trip with them uh, or trail run Saturday, but I got things to do. So thanks for the invite, but I'm not ready to go nowhere. I'm still waiting for my bump stops. Hopefully they'll be here tomorrow. So that's another thing I can do this weekend. Bump stops, front brake lines. My alignment will be done. Get this thing fitted up. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, let's see uh, uh, another one of you guys up there what Greco or Graco is interested in my fenders and the wheel spacers yes they're available still if you want them I sent you an email but if you want them you know I'll, I'll, I'll give them to you for half price half what I paid for them So that's it I think I'll relax now kick the boots off uh, edit this real quick and uh, have myself a cold one see ya over the weekend